like Madden, I'm making some hits Straight to Aspen, I'm taking a trip Get the bag, then I'm making the flip With the mask, got a shooter like Rip like you know me, bitch, I came with the steppers Don't fuck with no pigs, less is paper, it's pepper I'm making it rain, yeah, I'm changing the weather Backseat with a freaky, I'm staying in the leather I came for the cheddar, what do you think? Don't need a bad bitch, I can no sting Fresh Prince, trying to fill up the bank Million dollar baby, Hillary Swank Need a ball, bitch like Linda McMahon Who chasing the... YouTube, what's up though? It's me, Shiz, Shiz Griffin, aka The Griffmeister, aka your favorite YouTuber. If you've been here before, you know what to do, but if you haven't, please let me break it down for you. Like, comment, and subscribe so me and you together can take this worldwide. I'm back with another episode of Trash Fucking Characters, y'all favorite thing, y'all love me for it. I be trying to try new shit, but y'all just love this Trash character shit. And I appreciate y'all for loving it. Cause look, this is where I started. This is my humble beginnings, and guess what? This Trash Character shit is what got me monetized. So thank you, Trash Characters. Thank you to my brand for coming up with Trash Characters. And thank you to y'all for being who y'all are. I love y'all. All right, that's enough of all that sentimental shit. But this is trash characters. So what trash ass character are we talking about today? Listen, told y'all it's October. I'm gonna be doing some Halloween inspired, October scary, spooky inspired content. So, and plus also I said I needed more WWE content and people have been asking for it too. So, um, with that being said, y'all saw the thumbnail and y'all know who y'all clicked on. We gonna be talking about the top three reasons why the boogeyman is trash and he ain't coming to get nobody trash ass nigga let's uh get to it all right gang number three number three why the boogeyman was trash i'll tell you why because he was supposed to be a scary ass character he was supposed to be the undertaker he was supposed to be kane he was supposed to be one of those menacing type characters one of those spooky as monster characters, right? And yes, he was doing that shit right. And the vignettes and all that. The, the mystery behind the boogeyman coming to get you. Like I said, you ain't coming to get nobody. You gonna come get a seat right next to me. Cause that's where your ass was gonna be sitting with that dumbass character. Cause once he premiered, the man came on the scene dancing and shit. Shaking and, and gyrating and vibrating and all types of shit. Eating worms. All types of shit. The man was supposed to be scary and spooky, but ended up being creepy and looking very mentally ill. Can't say the R word because it's YouTube. And you know, they've been on my ass. They've been on my ass. That's another reason why I ain't been here for a while. Cause they been on my ass, YouTube. Y'all got to chill, man. I ain't do nothing to y'all. I'm just a young black man just trying to make it with the YouTube shit. So, please, again, like, comment, and subscribe so me and y'all together can take this worldwide. Turn me up, y'all. But yeah, nah, can't say that. But he was, he came off creepy and mentally ill. Short bus shorty-esque. Y'all remember short bus shorty? Y'all don't? All right, I'm old as shit. But, um, yeah. That's that. And we gonna move on to the next reason cause I got two more reasons why I think this motherfucker is trash. And we ain't gonna spend all day on that reason. Just know, he thought he was bull, but then he ended up being not bull. Let's move on. All right, y'all. Uh, number two. The number two reason why I think the boogeyman was trash was simply because of this. The nigga barely wrestled. Remember I told y'all about creepiness and mysteriousness and all that they took that shit to a whole nother level because that nigga barely wrestled and when he did i see why he barely wrestled the nigga was trash in the ring he had nothing else going on but that weird ass dancing spooky character that he was supposed to be he got nothing else but the dance and the worms the the nigga is trash bruh like when he got in the ring i remember specifically it was WrestleMania 22 where he was going to fight Booker T. And I was stoked for this shit, bro. I was hyped. I was amped for all this shit, bro. Like, fuck the main event. I couldn't wait to see The Boogeyman. Because remember, I was a kid. So The Boogeyman was um 
very entertaining to me. To my older cousins and shit who was a little older, maybe not. But 12, 13 year old shiz was definitely interested in the boogeyman. Grown man shiz, no. Cause once he got into that ring and we saw what he can do, we saw what he can do. And we understand why he barely wrestled. First of all, the man was 40 some years old as a rookie. So yeah, we pretty much knew he wasn't going anywhere once we found that out. So that's the number two reason. When he wrestled, he was trash and he barely wrestled. So he was just around for entertainment, mid card type shit, I guess. I don't know. But with that being said, we moving the fuck on. <laughs> and the number one reason why I think the boogeyman is trash, it don't even got nothing to do with his wrestling skills, his characteristics, none of that. It's just one simple viral moment. It would have been a viral moment in today. Um, but that was 2006, 2007. I don't know what year it was. I know it was the mid 2000s. But uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Remember when he ate that thing off of Jillian Hall's face? Y'all remember Jillian Hall, right? If y'all don't, it's cool. I'm old as shit. But yeah, Jillian Hall, let me explain to, to, to those who don't remember her. Jillian Hall was a part of JBL's cabinet and she was a nice looking girl, but she had this deformity on her face. I don't know if it was an alien. That shit looked like an alien jumped on her face. Like a monster movie and then it was gonna take over her whole body. That shit looked like the thing. That shit looked like Freddy Krueger skin. That shit looked like someone's brain or something. Like that shit looked disgusting, kid. Like that shit was not cool at all. And then WWE always takes it too far. Vince McMahon, Vinnie Mac, he in trouble by the way. But um, Vinnie Mac always taking shit too far. And Boogeyman being the creep and nasty motherfucker that he is, trash ass character, but suda ass nigga that he is, he had nothing else to do but eat a deformity off of a chick's face. Come on, man. You got to do better than that game. That's, that's not scary, that's just nasty. That's not scary, that's just, what the fuck, dude? Like, what are you doing? And that's why he's on trash characters. And those are the top three reasons why I think the boogeyman is trash. Simple, short, sweet, to the point. The man wanted to be Undertaker, but ended up being Eugene, which meaning he wanted to be scary, but he ended up looking mentally ill. Um, second reason was because he barely wrestled and when he did, garbage, garbage time in the ring, botch mania. Um, and number one reason was simply just because that nasty ass segment that is unforgettable years later, years later, I still remember that. That shit still haunts me to this day. Him eating that alien thingy off of Jillian Hall's face. Disgusting, bro. Like, comment, and subscribe so me and you together can take this worldwide. I'm Shiz, Shiz Griffin, the Griffmeister, your favorite YouTuber. That's all I got to say. I'm out.